Welcome to our second powder coating masking experiment series video. In today's video, we're going to test out the difference between removing green poly masking tape right after the powder gels, and we're gonna compare it to removing the tape after the part is fully cured and cooled out of the oven. To get started, we apply two pieces of green poly tape to the surface of a clean piece of metal. I then used a roller to ensure the adhesive achieved an effective seal. Next up, we applied the powder to the surface, then move on to the curing process itself. For the first piece, I simply waited a few minutes until the powder gelled over and then removed the masking tape. Because the adhesive was warmed up, the piece of tape removed incredibly easy. After removal, I put the piece back in to finish the curing process. Once completed and the part cooled down, I removed the tape. This was slightly more difficult because the adhesive was no longer warm. All right, let's take a look at the results. For the piece where I waited till the part cooled, you can actually see when you look really close up that the line actually has a little bit of a paint buildup and is a little rigid because the powder actually kind of cured onto the tape, resulting in a slight tearing when the tape is removed. And when we look at the other example where we removed the tape early, the line is actually extremely clean, almost as if the powder returned to flat where the line was. What this means is that when you want to get masking tape off easy and want a clean removal, you'll want to remove it sometime after the powder gels over. The main drawback is that it may not be super easy to do this all the time, so you may want to wait till right after the parts come out of the oven when the adhesive is still warm. We hope you enjoyed this quick video. Please make sure to let us know down in the comments what other masking tests you'd like to see us perform in the future.